Good morning everyone, it's Drayton, worldsgreatestkiting.com. Today is going to be an interesting day. Right outside of my car, some of you might appreciate this. I found some pennies just sitting right outside of my current kite van that doesn't have a name, but uh, cool anyway, cool pennies. I'm definitely going to take them. Check it out, there's a dime in there too, and there's, see, 19 cents. A 19 cents, nine pennies and a dime. But it's pretty neat out here. You can just drive right off of the side of the road, like this guy. You can see his truck up there. And it's a, a drive all the way down Right by the water, you, you can just post up in any of these spots and hang out for the day. People do it all the time, every day, even today. Thank you so much. It's a cool round building, I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. I'd like to go in it. So driving around Orlando after my appointment with the attorneys on my kite van and I'm right here by Universal Studios in this huge water park they're building. You've probably seen this thing, but man, it's so big up close. I don't even think that the camera here is going to show you exactly how big that is. Man, it's so big. So while I'm here in Orlando for the day, I'm going to... Uh, stop at my cousin Bruce's house. Bruce, who you might have heard in one of my last several videos, has been uh, very influential in kiting in my life. Bruce the Kite Man, as he's called. He owns uh, Kite Man Productions, who I came to Florida to work for back in 2012. 2011 and 12. So, I'm gonna go stop by his house. Maybe he's home, maybe he's not. But uh, I used to live in this part of the the city and I just like driving around it sometime. Getting a little nostalgic, thinking of all the good times that were had around here. Lived about a half a mile from Universal and a few miles from all the Disney parks. And right out of my back door, every single night, I could see all of the parks, all the Disney parks, fireworks. You could hear the universal ones, but it was very cool. I was very lucky. It's been a beautiful day driving around Orlando. Although it rained most of the day, the sun has come out. And the drive actually isn't that bad. Usually the traffic around Orlando is pretty, pretty terrible. In fact, the entire reason why I was even in Orlando today was because I was involved in an auto accident where my uh, my Volkswagen Vanagon, Vinny the Vanagon, was hit and destroyed. So I no longer have the van, my favorite, favorite vehicle, Vinny the Vanagon. Kite van, the uh, the Volkswagen Vanagon that I used to haul my kites, myself, my friends around town in. Got some great, great memories from the Vanagon. If 
any of you have ever been Volkswagen owners, you know the woes, the struggles, and the joys of being a Volkswagen owner. Brad, I know you know what it's like. If you have uh, any time, you guys go check out my friend Brad's YouTube channel, The Westphalia Chronicles. Um, today is kind of an honor of, of my friend out there, Brad. I, I had to uh, I had to take care of some business with with the whole auto accident part of of owning the Vanagon and uh, my friend uh, Brad out there in Oklahoma. He uh, he is full time in a Westphalia a van and it's very very cool uh, to know other people that associated with that, that know about the Volkswagens and and have a heart for it. In fact, my my biggest inspiration in kiting, Bruce Flora has owned uh, nine Volkswagen vans over the years and I've been fortunate to know two or three, three or four of those vans myself. It's been a pretty nice day driving around Orlando. So nice, you wonder, how am I doing this so calmly while driving a car? I'm actually on the freeway right now, behind the wheel. But I'm in Orlando, Florida, and this is what it looks like a lot of the times on the freeway. So just now I'm starting to move. Now if you see the sign way up there, it says Disney, that is why it's like this right now. Um, plus it's five five o'clock on a work day. Uh, check it out, the lights just just turned on. <laughs> Something else I get into a shuffleboard. Already Scott's out. even back there. John doesn't like that. Join for the evening, but it is the tournament night. It's the end of the league. And we're just out here. Doing a little shuffle. So most people are over there playing. And uh, my teammate Roland just hanging out here waiting to waiting to shuffle. Anything you want to say, Roland? No. I said it all. <laughs> Dang it. just think that shuffleboard was for those young at heart because it's not take a look around here you see all these people Hang out. shuffling this is a good time if you guys have shuffleboard available to you somewhere you should go try it out it is a really fun game to play you need four people the rules are easy kids can play it Old people can play it. You can play it in a wheelchair. It's a good. It's a good sport. More from shuffleboard later. So I'm inside the shuffleboard clubhouse, and I want to show you a couple of cool things. Check this out. It's an old scale. It's been in here for a long time. Got some old signs. Been around. Look at the doors. Check out the doors. Here's something really cool. Look at this old picture. Right here at these very same courts. It's one of those super long ones. I still don't really understand how they how they took these back then, but it's cool. Look at all the uh, look at the clothes they're wearing. 
think, man, a Sunday afternoon or whenever this was, they all meet up, all these people, and play shuffleboard. It's a pretty old sport. We'll do some more walking around in here, but there it is. I'll show you a couple other things here before I move on. All kinds of trophies. And in case you didn't know, this is a tang. And those are biscuits. A little shuffleboard knowledge for you. Back to Kate's. Table shot. And here we are again. In the homestead with Scott Benz. Oh. <laughs>